In this video, we're gonna be going over adding collision to our players so that they don't walk through the buildings and the different obstacles in our city. So let's get started. So to get started, this is where we left off in the previous video. Um, we can have we can just walk around and um, we can hide under trees and we have the animation running. But um, let me go to um, this building right here. I want, once we hit this building, I want us to be stopped. I don't want our player to be able to walk through it. So for us to do that, um, if you go into the description again, um, the same link as before, which is this city collider. And these are all the things that we're gonna have our player not being able to touch. So let's just open that. And we're going to rename it to um, Collider. Now we have our City Collider, our top layer trees, and our city. So if you want our Collider to be um, all around the map, um, let's first set this to zero and zero. Um, we want it to do the same thing as our trees. So let's just set this, put it here. And instead of one second, I'm just gonna move this away. And we're gonna have this player. Um, instead, um, so instead of having this wait one second, we're going to have all this happen, um, and then have it wait one second and go to front layer, um, right here. Okay. And we don't even have to wait one second. We can have this be 0 0.5. Um, now we want our colliders, um, we click play. Um, and yeah, so our collider is right here. Um, the next thing we want to do is also remove this weight. Um, we also want this to be in the front layer, but we'll do it um, the same as we did our top layer trees. And we just have this 0 0.5 seconds and click on the flag. Um, the second thing we also want to do is we don't want it to, we also don't want it to wait for set um, seconds. So let's duplicate this um, and hit on the flag. And we can have this be its own thing. So we don't have to wait for it to move to its correct X and Y position. And let's also go to our city and do the exact same um, top layer trees and do the exact same thing. We just duplicate this, move this, put this here and put this here. Okay, so now we have our city. Um, it doesn't have to be on the top layer. So now um, we have to um, take this costume one and put it in our collider. Um, just put this here. And when we click on the flag, um, we have to go to our code as well, make this costume one and then move this here and then change this to switch layer city collider. Now, um, if we go to one of the colliders and click on the city and hide it, we'll notice it's in the correct spot. So now we have to make um, the collision happen for our player. So let's go to our player and go to when um, or define move. And basically what we're gonna have here is um, if we end up touching, um, if we end up touching the, the, the collider, we want it to move back basically. And let's just duplicate, um, this and we're going to just select any color. Um, and then select a box and let's first create a collider for our player. So this is how far we want our player to be able to move. We don't want our player to be able to move any further than this and the reason we're doing this is because if we don't have this and we collide into um let's say our 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 building over there our player is going to be able to put its feet onto the top of the building and we just want this um to make sure that we're not able to put our front foot past um the building so now we can go to our costume and go to define move so the first thing we're going to do is create a, a variable called previous costume. Um, let me just rename this previous costume. And then we're going to set previous costume to costume number. So, and we'll put this right after we define, um, the move block and, and we're just going to have it switch our collider and then switch it back to the previous costume we've been to. Um, so now we're just going to go to looks and switch um, the costume to collider. And after that, we're going to look if we're touching the collider. So say if touching 
collider um, then we're going to go to motion and move um, go to operators and select this multiplication operator and we're just going to have it move backwards so negative one speed um, actually we want this to be if else so let's select this if else if touching collider move backwards and then if we actually do not touch the collider then we can do this so now let's oh and then I've of course switch back to switch costume to previous costume so now let's test this let's go towards a building and we notice that yes indeed we're not able to go past it and let me just show you what would happen if we didn't have this um collider costume going on here um this is basically what will happen um wait hold on um, yeah you can see that our body is moved past it and it is like glitching outwards um so we don't want that to happen and that's why we have our switch costume collider right here which stops collision and now if you just want to test this you can go to any of these um collider places um let me just zoom out zoom out um and if you do want anything to not be a collider like for example this water just delete it and it won't um, block the player from moving um and then i just recommend keeping these trains and all that there so um if we go back to our to right here to this train track um you do realize um you would realize that i accidentally um while creating this um collider i forgot to um remove this bottom train so let's just zoom in and all we're gonna do is so just click select and just make sure we're only selecting the train and delete thank you very much for watching this video please smash that like button if you enjoyed the video and don't forget to subscribe and turn on post notifications so you don't miss the next video where we're going to be going over shooting and having our players shoot different kind of guns in the game so see you in the next one peace